Hello everyone, of course I'm John Doe right here in Tokyo, Japan. Do another edition of the Do uh, Dosetters Report. Now I think it's important to uh, note here that here recently in Japan, the cabinet of uh, the government has approved several pieces of legis legislation that will have drastic impacts for the Japanese constitution, uh, most notably Article 9. Now all these new, they call security bills, type of legislation, will change how the Special Defense Force operates. Basically it's, a whole, basically, it's a whole package of things that will allow Japan to engage in collective defense. Now, I've made videos in the past about it and went into a lot of details about the ramifications, the different aspects of it. But just because it's passed the cabinet doesn't mean automatically becomes law. There's still a system and process in Japan. It has to be approved by the larger legislative branch, which is going to be a rubber stamp thing. And then they have to get enough uh, support within the government to have a constitutional type of convention to actually change the constitution, which is exactly what Abe wants. Now, the only way to get around it is to try to reinterpret, which is what Abe really wants to do. He doesn't want to have to try to do the constitutional thing full on just yet because it's going to be hard to do. So all this is going on in Japan. It continues to go on. Now this comes on the heels of Japan having its first ever arms exhibition. It was selling arms internationally now. Uh, last year Abe lifted the ban on arms producers in Japan selling arms internationally. So all this is going on, all this slow build-up, the slow militarization of Japan. You know, of course we all know why. America is ready for Japan to be Daddy America's attack dog in Asia. And also, of course, there's money to be made in war, as we see with these arms shipments overseas. Trying to get as much money as you can selling weapons, so other countries can carry out death across the world. It's just a slow, slow thing. It keeps happening here in Japan. Abe wanted to remilitarize this country. And mark my words, if they were to get this fully gone through the way they want to go through, Japan will end up in a conflict and it will be because of America dragging them into it. America will start some shit and go, come on Japan, stand up for us, join some coalition, you know, and then we'll be at war. Now this legislation not only allows for collective defense but also to engage in UN peacekeeping missions. Now UN peacekeeping missions are never peaceful. They're always about a war. Coming down on some country because America said so usually. You know. I really bargained my mind what fascist Abe is thinking. This is the way forward for Japan to go. Japan to become all militant. Just like the old days. And you have to think about the historical nature of military in Japan. We all know societies move based on what's been built on from the past and that's what makes change and progression, right? So if Japan goes in this route and Abe is able to pull all this off what history does Japan have to rely on to know how to behave? Well, the old imperialist days. That's what they have. So you get the military up ramping again here in Japan. A lot of people fear a lot of the things that went on domestically in Japan back in the old days will start again. And at some point in time, we would like to do a video on Abe's bigger, larger dream for uh, rewriting the Japanese constitution. There's a lot of stuff he's pushing for in the long game that'll shock you. That's for another time. For now, I just want to make this video to highlight that another step forward has been made. And I want to hear your thoughts on it. So leave a comment, comment box below. It's the first time you see me. Hey, subscribe, subscribe. Get lots of stuff like this and little surprises from time to time. So until next time, this is me, John Doe, here in Tokyo. Check it out.